When we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septim Sen vs. The World. I'm Septim Sen. As you can see, Kotobuki Jake is not here with me today. And that is because it is a very, very snowy day. Um, snow to the point where I don't, uh, well, I'm not at work. And uh, we have roads with ice enough that Kotobuki Jake cannot make it over here. And I sure as heck can't make it over there. <laughs> but we're still going to be bringing you the news. There's still me. You just got to put up with just me. All right. So take a look at that beautiful DVD footage. of things of note this week. Uh, Venom is out this this next week. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm one of those people who thought it doesn't involve Spider-Man, it's going to be a, a, a shit show. But people are saying it's not a shit show. Well, I'm definitely willing to check it out. I heard that the acting is pretty good and that the effects are pretty good. So... I am most definitely willing. <laughs> the next thing of note is the new Predator movie is out. So, of course, as you put a new movie out in a series, there's a collection as well. But I've never seen it. I've seen all of them up until then, so I've seen the other three. I am going to see this in the future. It is on my list to get... It's just when, 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 and, and when. <laughs> All right. Next is Fahrenheit 11.9. 9 
really whether you get this or not depends on whether you where you fall in the political spectrum. I choose to believe what I was programmed to believe. <laughs> These days Michael Moore's films are not so much for everybody. I would say you could have been fairly neutral and independent and really liked Roger and Me or The Big One or uh, shooting, what was that, Bowling for Columbine. But after that point, those films got more and more stilted. The kind of people who are going to be buying this are probably the kind of people who on, basically, it's the same group of people, just on the opposite political ideology. That's buying that, you know, that Hillary movie, or that, uh, or that, you know, uh, movie that compares Trump to Abraham Lincoln. That was a big mistake, Bart. No children have ever meddled with the Republican Party and lived to tell about it. I mean. If you like those, you're not going to buy this one, obviously. But if you're on the opposite political persuasion and at the same level of, uh, well, same level, <laughs> then you'll probably go for that. Which is a shame. I, I think Michael Moore does do some masterful work when it comes to comedy, and he does know his way around a camera. I just feel like his movies have gotten a little bit more preachy. I haven't seen this one yet, but I don't expect it to be the great one. I mean, Where to Invade Next was meh. Uh, Slacker, Slacker Uprising was very meh. Uh, Sicko was preachy as all get out. And the capitalism one? Oh my god. <laughs> um... Also slightly political <laughs> news, Schindler's List is at 25 years now and is getting a 4K release. It's a really good movie. I am looking forward to it, and I hope you also get to see it. I've got a little kitty cat right here. All right. Last but not least, Lupin the Third. Well, there's two more. Uh, Lupin the Third, Legends of the Gold of Babylon. I only put this out because I love Lupin the Third, and I will probably be getting this along with everything Lupin as it comes out. The only thing I don't have that's Lupin is the release of Series 2 that they originally started putting out but never finished. But as I've got Part 1 and Part 2 of Season 2 at the new release, that's all covered. <laughs> so I very much am looking forward to that. I'll be getting two Lupin things that will complete my American Lupin release collection. So I'm very much looking forward to that in the future. And finally, I was born a black, uh, was a poor black boy <laughs> on the banks of the Mississippi. <laughs> the Jerk <laughs> is coming out uh, as a re-release. I love this film. It is hilarious. Uh, if you haven't seen The Jerk yet, it is one of Steve Martin's better movies. So, check it out. Well, that's all I have for you this week. I do hope that uh, you have enjoyed this video. Of course, like our videos, subscribe, and share. Share the love. In any case, Kotobuki Jake will be back with us next week where we bring another massive Black Friday slash Christmas haul. And we will see you on the next one.